Hi there, Eric from Shared Ink here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a portrait book in less than 10 minutes using Adobe Bridge and Photoshop. This is really a slam dunk book because it takes such little time to design and it's relatively inexpensive, so it's a great upsell for portrait sessions. So to start, I have a folder here on my desktop called Photo Session that has all the images I want to use for this book. Now we're using them cur courtesy of Laura Cottrell, one of our customers, and they've already been edited and they're to a point where I'm ready to use them for a book. So the first step is to open up Adobe Bridge and browse to find those photos. So I have them here under Portraits Photo Session. So now I'm going to select all of these images using the Shift key and click over to this Output tab. And I believe Output's been available since version 3 of Adobe Bridge. Now as you can see on the right, I've created a template for portrait books. And the specs you're going to want to use here for this 8 inch book are 8.25 inches by 8.25 inches, 300 pixels per inch, and quality 100. I'm just going to do one column and one row, so it's just one image per page. And I like a nice thick border, so I'm going to do 3 quarters of an inch on the top, bottom, left, and right. And remember, if you're going to scale this for bigger books, you're going to want bigger borders. So I don't want any overlays or any text or anything like that, so I'm going to leave all the rest blank. I'm going to view PDF after save. I'm going to click save. And I'm going to name it 10 minute book. Save. Now it should just take a moment because there's only 10 images here. And here we are. Now as you can see, this is really nice for both vertically portrait oriented photos and horizontal landscape oriented photos. We've got a nice thick border and everything looks good. So the next step is to open up the PDF we just created in Photoshop. So I'm going to highlight all of these pages. And it's really important under Crop To to choose Crop Box. Make sure it's anti-aliased. You want to make sure that these specs are the same that they were when you created the PDF. So 8.25 inches by 8.25, 300 pixels per inch. So go ahead and open those. So Photoshop is going to open all of those individual pages of the PDF into individual PSD files. And here we are. So now all I need to do is go into File, Automate, Batch, and I'm going to use the SharedInk utilities that you can download from SharedInk.com slash downloads. And the action I want to use is save open files as JPEG and close. The source is open files because I want to use all these pages that are individual PSDs. Now the destination folder, I'm going to make one. So on the desktop, I'm going to make a new folder called 10 minute book and I'm going to create it. So I'm not going to change anything down here. I want to use the document name and extension and I'm going to click OK. So now Photoshop is saving all these out as JPEGs. And there we are. So now the next step is to open the bridge again and under the Essentials tab, browse to find that folder, 10 minute book right here. So now I want to put the pages in the order that I want. So um, I like to start with this one and move these around a bit to where I'm happy. And they are good to go. So now I'm going to rename these in an order that's going to be convenient when I'm uploading the book using the battery name tool. So I go to tools, battery name, and I'm going to start with page, sequence number starting with one, three digits, so 001, 002, 003, etc. I'm going to click rename, and there we are. 
So now I'm going to look it over, 10 minute book. As you can see, it's in a format that we like. So I'm going to compress the folder. Right click, press compress, 10 minute book. And there we are. So now I'm going to sign into my Shared Inc. account. And up here at the top, I'm going to create a new book. This is an 8 inch square and full bleed. I'm going to call this 10 minute book create. Now I'm going to upload the file. I'm going to choose that zip file we just created right here. Click upload. And here we are. So now that the book's been uploaded, I'm going to refresh the page. And all my pages are there. They're in an order that I like. So it looks like we're good to go. I'm going to click order now. Choose linen hardcover book. I'm going to do standard pages. And I like the cover weight, but I'm going to go with a matte finish for this book. So as you can see, there's less than 15 pages, so these are all on the right side, but I like it that way. And as you can see, again, it's great for portrait and landscape photos. It's really simple, but really effective for what we're doing here. So everything looks good. I'm going to click Ready to Order. I'm going to go with Slate for my cover. I like the white linen, and I'm going to do one line of foil stamping that says 10 minute book. I'm going to do silver, sans serif, looks good to me, add to cart. And there we are, in less than 10 minutes you have an 8 inch square portrait book with a line of foil stamping. So to finish out the order I'm just going to proceed to check out, use shared ink's address, Standard shipping, and we are there. So that's the video. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can reach me at support.sharedink.com. So thanks for watching.